Well, it is all about jobs. You just heard Phil bring it back to that. Whether you're trying to put food on the table or trying to get reelected, recently on another network, the Democratic governor of Maryland, Martin O'Malley, said one party is better than the other at putting people back to work. Here's what he said. In July, states that had Democratic governors had twice the rate of job growth as states that have Republican governors. He wasn't challenged on that other network that may remain unnamed. There's someone named Joe, hosts a morning program. That's all I know. So that narrows down to two. Anyway, so we checked his math. It turns out he got it exactly backward. Larry Hogan is chairman and founder of Change Maryland. Larry, his math was a little uh, was a little off, right? He said Democratic well, the, governors added twice as many jobs as Republicans. The truth is exactly the opposite. Republican governors added 80,000 jobs, 79,000 in July. Democratic state governors, on average, 38,000 jobs. So it was exactly backward, right? Well, he yeah, exactly, and you know, the, the, our governor sort of has a, uh, a reputation for mixing up the numbers and. You know, it's just a continuation of that. Here, here are the facts. Uh, the states that have Republican governors have an unemployment rate that's a full one point lower than the states with Democratic governors. And the seven of the ten uh, states in the country with the lowest uh, uh, unemployment rates are, have Republican governors. You know, what, why is that? What do you think? I mean, is it a coincidence? Is it just math? It's not What's a, the difference? It's not, it's not a coincidence at all. I think that the Republican governors across the country, many of them, have gotten the message, and they're making the tough decisions. They're reining in spending. They're reining in, uh, you know, uh, 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 entitlement programs. They're cutting taxes, and they're taking burdens off the private sector, the job creators. And that's exactly why, you know, we're Amer states with Republican governors, 12 out of the 15 states that are rated the highest for business, the most business friendly have Republican governors. In our state, for example, in Maryland, um, you know, we, we uh, have increased spending by more than almost anyone in the country, and uh, we've uh, raised taxes 24 times in a row. But it's what not happened just was, about that, though. I mean, yeah. isn't it, it's also about the climate that it creates for business. For example, you know, we were just looking at in Chicago, they lost a big factory to Iowa because the owner, the owner said he just doesn't trust the local government. But to do what? I mean, is it about um, you know, the tax system there? Is it about employees? What are the details? Well, there's a lot of reasons that companies make decisions, but for example, it's the tax burden, it's the regulatory burden, and it's just the, the, the general attitude towards business. We've been losing, uh, you know, at an alarming rate, businesses, jobs, and taxpayers out of Maryland into Virginia just because they have a more attractive business environment. So what I think that's happening yeah. around the country. I think it's happening uh, all around the country are, as well. You see people leaving California and going to neighboring states like Nevada for exactly the same reason, that they just get better treatment, better tax treatment, and their employees take home more of their pay because the tax burden is so much lighter. It just makes it easier to do business. At the same time, you know, it, it, I, maybe Republican governors aren't even doing enough because if you look at adding 79,000 jobs, even though that average was twice the Democratic states, it's still not enough mm -hmm. to get us back to where we no, need to be. It's absolutely not enough. But, you know, the states are, are sort of a great laboratory for trying to see what we can do to fix the economy. And some of the states that have Republican governors that have made the tough choices, that are more business friendly, that are cutting taxes and cutting spending, are doing much better. They are creating not enough jobs, nobody's satisfied, but at a much faster rate than the states where we're increasing spending and increasing taxes and where we have too many regulations and we're unfriendly to business. It's tough to, you know, get the private sector to grow jobs when you have a hostile yeah. environment to, towards those job creators. If if a government has runaway spending, a local government, what, how does that impact negatively on business? Well, like for, for example, we increased spending in Maryland uh, more than almost any state in the country. We had to raise taxes 24 times. That places an unbelievable burden on our state. And what happens, we're competing directly with, say, Virginia. We're here in the Washington area. Yeah. Companies can decide which side of the Potomac River to go to. They go to the one that has the lower taxes, the lower uh, you know, burdens, and uh, you know, that's where they're taking all the jobs. We lost uh, a, a number of uh, Fortune 500 companies. We yeah. lost 6,500 small businesses who've left the state. At the end of the day, someone has to pay the bill. Larry O'Hogan, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate your time. Thank you.